Yes, and uh, thanks to the uh, nice wishes we uh, received from Kirk and everyone at uh, Cascades Manor. As today, we celebrate JTV's 23rd anniversary. <laughs> Yikes. 23 years today, and I uh, hope you can stick around. Where we'll, uh, we'll be looking back on some of the things that have happened over these past 23 years. Right now, 62 degrees. Uh, about five degrees above normal for midday, mid October, and uh, light rain. We expect rain to uh, pick up overnight tonight, and uh, our overnight low 58. So we won't be seeing much temperature fluctuation between now and well tomorrow morning. Uh, things will warm up on Wednesday. With, I mean Thursday, with a high of 72 but a little bit of rain, but mostly in the morning. Friday, a chance of showers in the afternoon, high 74, and then the cool down for the weekend. Partly sunny, 55 Saturday, almost normal, and showers on Sunday, high 46. Uh, some pretty nice weather for uh, this time of year in our beautiful town, brought to you by Kelly Express. Thanks, Kelly Express. Geared up for Halloween, are you? Stop by Kelly Express and get some treats for the trick-or-treaters or for yourself. A uh, great thing to do on uh, Halloween is to have pizza. It's been a tradition, pizza or chili, and pizza at Kelly Express is a great deal. The Supreme Pizza this month is just $17.99. Jefferson Road, Grass Lake, South Street, Napoleon, and their new location on County Farm Road. Let's. Take a look outside. We've got the sky cam. Wow, what a beautiful view with uh, the fall colors. Things looking great. Mm -hmm. um, yesterday, the day before, this week, enjoy it. It's peak, peak in Jackson County. And we have a couple of roads. The road, uh, County Road uh, Association of Michigan chose two, two roads in particular in Jackson County that are very uh, scenic for your drive in the country. One is Kimmel Road and the other is uh, Seymour Road. And I would agree, uh, two very scenic roads, but we've got many more. Just uh, take a drive in the country, check it out in uh, beautiful Jackson County. Today, October 25th, it is our 23rd anniversary here at JTV, uh, National Greasy Foods Day. Uh, what's your favorite greasy food, Brandon? Um, probably the hamburger. Hamburger? Yeah. Mine's french fries. Uh, Chucky the Killer Clown Day. Um, it's because Halloween debuted on this day in 1978. Jamie Lee Curtis in the John Carpenter horror movie, which uh, featured Chucky the Killer Clown. It was uh, on this day in two, two well, 1980, 1964, first some football history, 1964. Uh, this was the uh, probably the most um, famous wrong way run. It was uh, a fumble in the 49ers uh, Vikings game. Vikings star defensive end Jim Marshall ran 66 yards the wrong way, and he ran the whole way into his own end zone, and he he believed he scored a touchdown, and he threw the ball into the stands in celebration. <laughs> uh, and uh, it was only after that that um, he found out that uh, he pulled one of the worst gaffes in NFL history. Uh, he got ribbed about that uh, on the ride home and for the rest of his life. <laughs> uh, wrong way, Marshall. Well, but the good news is, even with Marshall's error, the Vikings did win 27-22. Uh, uh, the two is from the safety that he scored for the 49ers. Now, we started in October 2000, and I was thinking what life was like in 2000. Uh, the mayor of New York City, Rudy Giuliani. Uh, whatever happened to Giuliani? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I think we have a book upstairs, huh. though. There's a book upstairs. <laughs> Yeah, we do have the, we found a book by Rudy Giuliani. About leadership. Leadership, <laughs> leadership. Uh, I don't know, did he, has he turned? Did he uh, make a plea? <laughs> uh, let's see, also in 2000, 
Bob Barker hinted that he might retire from The Price is Right. This was 23 years ago. Uh, the presidential campaign was uh, in a big battle. Um, George W. Bush and Al Gore, final few days of their presidential campaign. Dale Earnhardt Sr., 23 years ago this month, won his 76th and final career NASCAR race. HBO was rolling out the first episode of Larry David's Curb Your Enthusiasm. The PlayStation 2 was released for sale in Japan before it got over here. Uh, America Online and Time Warner combined whatever happened. You've got mail. Uh, and Tiger Woods became the youngest player to win a Grand Slam in golf 23 years ago. And Google, they'd been around for a little while, but this was the first uh, day they sold ads. <laughs> Google didn't sell ads for the first, uh, they didn't know what they were doing. Uh, they do now. Uh, now on to uh, Today in the J, brought to you by Experience Jackson. Happening today at, picture this, Jackson. They're having their DSLR class, and today is the first one uh, from 3 till 5 at Picture This Jackson, 316 South Wisner Street. There's a trunk or treat event at Lowe's from 6 till 8 p.m. Uh, spooky Ladies' Night at the Eagle's Nest at 5 p.m. One Piece card game today at Game Place on Mechanic, and it's also Weekly Gaming Night at Nostalgia Inc. Uh, Wednesday, Larkana League happening at the arena, 1949 Lansing Avenue. That's it. Today in the J, presented by Experience Jackson. Thanks to the balloony bin for the awesome balloonies helping us celebrate the 23rd anniversary of JTV. And you know you can get your own balloons at the balloony bin? Yes. Yeah, we have our own balloons. Yeah, awesome. Uh, thanks, Cindy Hayden. We appreciate it. We had uh, a lot of fun uh, last night. It was the Halloween Town Trunk or Treat event at Keeley Park, Jackson County Parks, the Jackson County Animal Shelter, and Jackson County put this on. This is the fourth annual, and it was a wonderful time had by all. Hundreds, hundreds of kids and their families turned out, and there were uh, businesses and organizations participating. They got all dolled up in their Halloween finest and put up some awesome displays and gave away fun things like light bulbs. <laughs> yeah, uh, light bulbs. Uh, oh, Target was there. Uh, and the animal shelter. We had um, food trucks as well. And the costumes uh, this year, this is amazing, just in the last few weeks. Uh, earlier this fall, the number one costume was Barbie. And now guess what it is? Uh, no, uh, Ken? Uh, I'll give you a hint. It's a two, it's a two part costume. Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift and? Kelsey, Travis Kelsey. Yes, Travis Kelsey. A lot of people are dressing up as Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. So, yes, thanks to all who worked hard to put on this great event last night. We get word today from the city of Jackson. They're launching their 100 Homes program. The uh, city is uh, in the process of helping developers get 100 new homes built on vacant lots in the city, providing housing for residents, rebuilding neighborhoods. The Community Development Department is launching this after seven months of planning. The program intends to construct 100 single-family houses on vacant lots for qualifying home buyers, along with providing down payment assistance. And as you can see, these are beautiful homes. Man, that is awesome. And the uh, developer um, working with various home builders, I think Norfolk Homes uh, built that one. And there's one right over here, um, uh, off Mechanic Street, I, I noticed, um, in Partnership Park area. A couple of them, actually. So yeah, $35,000 in down payment assistance for uh, qualified new homes buyers. Uh, get details on the 100 home section of the city website. 
city also uh, asking us to pass along uh, this word. Uh, they're having a community meeting about planned improvements for the Martin Luther King Jr. Center. They want to uh, replace this playground. This playground is about 20 years old. And recently they put in an awesome playground at Loomis Park and they thought, well, let's do that here. But they want community input. They also are uh, considering uh, a new pavilion. Uh, this pavilion is very popular there. You're seeing the background popular place for uh, picnics and family reunions and thinking about adult exercise equipment as well. But they would like people to come and enjoy pizza, refreshments, and door prizes. That's happening at the MLK Center on Wednesday, November 1st, a week from today, from 5.30 to 7 p.m. All that are interested uh, are invited to just pop in. We uh, are celebrating uh, 23 years on the show today, 23 years of JTV, and thanks to uh, those who have sent us wishes and given us calls, and uh, we appreciate it. Uh, and thanks so much, the ability to make it 23 years, starting from scratch, is the community. The community has been there with us every step of the way as viewers, as advertisers, as employees, as, as, as friends. And we greatly appreciate all who have contributed to our longevity and to our success. Thanks so much. I mentioned earlier we've had, uh, between the morning show and this show, we have had 38,617 guests. Amazing. Uh, we'll be having a lot more over the next uh, couple of weeks. By the way, we're less than two weeks away from the election, so we're going to have uh, city candidates for city council and mayor uh, coming to join us in the next uh, couple of weeks. Well, in addition to the 38,617 guests we've already had, we've uh, got four more. Shamar Heron just with us, had to uh, head to a meeting, but next up, Jeff Beintrager from Northwest Community Schools, Bob Powell from Family Service and Children's Aid will be here, and uh, Kat Dickinson as well. Great coffee today from the Jackson Coffee Company. Thanks for the great gifts, Brian and your crew, and the great coffee as well. And thanks to Knight's Steakhouse for a great lunch. They have specials every day for lunch and dinner, and they've got uh, some crowd favorites. The hot turkey sandwich today, their Reuben, their turkey Reuben, They've got awesome salads and sides, and of course, great steaks. It's Knight's Steakhouse. Thanks to Stan and everybody at Knight's. Sure appreciate it. Uh, Jeff Beintrager will be along in just a couple of minutes, but first, let's take, a, take another look back at 23 years of JTV.